Good morning everybody. I'm back out on the east coast again today. The sun's shining. The sea's pretty flat. Uh, hopefully we'll go out and catch some fish. If you're wondering where I am, I'm, I'm launching from Filey today. So I'm going to head out around Filey Brig. Just have a bit of fun fishing. I might keep a few fish for the pot, I don't know. I'll see how I feel when I get out there. So yeah, it looks like it's a big surf launch this morning. So I might struggle with that one. Right, let's get out there, have some fun. I'm just going over the end of Filey Brig now. You can see there's lots of uh, bait fish in the water. I've been watching all the birds, they were diving for them earlier on. They've moved off because there's a fishing boat gutting fish over there. So I presume that's where all the birds have gone, but there were loads earlier on. I could see them all diving for the fish, so it's a good sign that there's a lot of bait fish, but Let's hope the bigger fish are hungry today. We're in. I just turned the other camera off and I straight into one. <laughs> See where it is yet. Oh, there's, a, there's a cod. Nice one as well. Taking on my uh, homemade sand eel. Go on then, you can go back for us fish of the day. Well, I'm hooked into summer, it hit it on the drop, so I'm, I think it's a decent sized cod. Absolutely smash that one right on the bottom as soon as it hit. What have we got? Yeah, it's another cod. About similar size as the last one. He's doing the business now. There he goes. <laughs> well, I've just switched to one of my slow pitch jigs and it's just got smashed straight away. This seems a good fish. Come on, eat my net for this one. Yes, that's a nice one. Nice cod, that.
schnipsen. It'll be uh, going back for the table, well, this one. Wow, 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 wow. I think we'll just dispatch him and then uh, put him, sort him out then, sort the hooks out then. Uh, what I usually do is I usually dispatch my fish off camera and then uh, it doesn't upset some people. I've had a few people comment saying, oh, you don't dispatch your fish. I also dispatch my fish, I do it off camera. It's just that when I edit it, it looks like I just put it straight in the back. But actually, I, I do dispatch it. on the golden jiggers. Let's see if we can catch some more. Well, we're in again. I think it's just like a, a small coddle in this one. Yeah. Oh, it's a wrath. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Slippery one, that one. Well, we're into another. We're just loving this uh, slow jig today. Oh, another decent size one. business today. That's it. I'll put you back a bit small you. There you go. Lip. Yeah, this is a new colour I've been working on and uh, I thought I'd give it a whirl. It seems to do alright. I, I do mackerel coloured ones as well. I've been spraying them up. If you, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll probably see some of the stuff I've done. But um, yeah, I've, I've done these. I call them little cod, golden cod. Um, 
I've been doing mackerel ones, they seem to be very popular with people but uh, these are my new ones that I've been trying out and yeah they work really well, I'm, I'm quite happy with them I've had a few that I've uh, lost, you know they've hit it, they're probably small small um, codling but I think there'll be some decent ones down there, especially when the tide starts to run later I think uh, we'll get some decent sized ones hopefully Well, we're into some, I think it's a little pollock or a corley on a deep diving low it was a good take but then it doesn't feel that heavy do not feel much weight behind it <laughs> yeah it's a little corley That's it. There he goes. Well, it's time to bring out the pink panther. And that is a pink panther. And we're going to see if we can get a big pollock from down here. Hopefully, we will. You never know. Some days you'll get one, some days you won't. Fish on. And it's on the pink panther. And it feels a decent one. I'll let it run a bit if it's a big pollock. Oh, it is a nice big pollock. On me. Hello. Let's get that one done. Typical. That's it. We're free. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Keeper there. It's absolutely inhaled that. Look at that. Can you see that low? 20 centimetre low and it's down down its throat. I'll have to do a bit of operating on that to get that one out. It was deep up, I'd have had to keep him anyway, so he won't go to waste. The jig head had gone right down his throat, through his gills. Well, I've had a few fish today. I've had a, my Grand Slam, called Pollock Bass. I've also had Corley and uh, a Rass as well. So I haven't been done too bad today, a bit of mixed bag. Mixed bag fishing, so yeah, I was umming and ahhing when to let that pollock go, but then it was really well deep hooked, it was all in its gills, it, it wouldn't have survived. So, oh, we're in again, it wouldn't have survived, so I kept it. And I really need to stock up because, to be honest, I haven't really done that much fishing this year, the, the weather's been terrible every time I plan to go anywhere, it's windy. It's been constantly windy since, well, well, beginning of the year. Everyone I know who fishes this part of the coast have said the same. They just can't get out because of the weather. So I'm having to make the most of it whilst I can. What have we got here? Codlin. It's a 
greedy bugger. Look, my low's nearly as big as a codling. So, yeah, I'll make the most of it. There it goes. It's a trouble one. After big fish, not little fish like that, and they still go for the big lows. We're into summer. It's not. I think it's belly up because he's not putting up much of a fight. What have we got here? No, oh, it's a small pollock. Put him back. There he goes. The pink panther strikes again. Well, we're into another fish. Probably another small coli. Same sort of area I got last one from. Oh, it's a bass. Love it, <laughs> Well. I've never had a bass from Filey Brig. Ever. Let's, uh, let's get him unhooked. Oh, nice little bass. Taking on one of the, not on that low, but same pattern. Lovely. I'll put him back. There he goes. I've just switched back to my slow jigs and I've just hooked into a uh, little curly bite size of it. Tail hooked. It's a pollock. I thought it was a corley. There he goes, back down. Well, I've decided to kill it again now. It's just coming up to high water and it's slack, it's slack now. So the fish have stopped uh, feeding, doing the thing. So that's uh, all it'll do. I've, I've got a, a low still out on the off chance I can catch, maybe catch a bass from in this bay area. Uh, I've never had one before in the bay. In fact, that was the first time I've had a bass from the end of Farley Brig. I've never had a bass there before. I've heard people catch them off the beach, but not this far out, so that's a first for me. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've had a few small codling and cold fish, a couple of keepers, a nice pollock, and a cod. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's with that and loads of little fish in between, so yeah, it's been good, really enjoyed it. I thought back there I was going to lose a load to a pot boy and I got snagged into it and I thought oh, I'll go back and see if I can lift the rope and get it back and I managed to do that. There's quite a bit of swell running through and I thought oh, nah, I'm risking it a bit but I did, I managed to pull the rope up, managed to get 
get my low back and it came out pretty easy to be honest. So that's a plus. So, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave it a thumbs up, hit that bell icon and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. If you have any questions or comments, stick them in the box below. And uh, if you want to see what gear I've been using, what sort of loads, just look me up on Facebook, Kite Fishing Central, and uh, you can see the sort of stuff that I'm using on there. So like I said, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next video. Bye.